Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel again and again and again and again and again. And if you're new here, welcome. So today I'm showing you guys my straight hair routine. I only do this once a year for those who are always asking. I only do it once a year just to get that little fix of straightening my hair and see how long it's gotten and all that jazz. So yeah, just to get right into this video, I have freshly washed and freshly detangled hair. I'm using this um, like comb blow dryer thing by Gold Bond, I think it's called. I'm not sure. It's just from Sally's when I worked there. So yeah, it's my first time using it and it made blow drying a lot easier. Now I can't buy that $400 blow dryer that makes your hair look bomb and does it all for you. But it's cool, we may do what it do. So for the blow dry process, I always take my Kenra blow drying spray. It's a sample size because I don't blow dry or straighten my hair a lot. But yeah, it's a sample size and it literally makes the blow drying process time cut in half. It's it's so bomb and it smells really good. I got that from the Glam Twins a long time ago. So yeah, it's been like a holy grail. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's bomb. Then um, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, start blow drying my hair from my ends to my roots. But also the leave-in conditioner that I used um, was a spray leave-in conditioner because it's light yet moisturizing and it's from Sacred Tiara by Carol's Daughter. Yeah, it's like one of my favorites from them other than the black vanilla one. But yeah, I'm going to start doing that to my whole head and yeah. I blow dry my hair on medium heat it has a cool setting and um, I do use that one but it's just a button instead of an actual like switch so I blow dried on medium heat and once the section was done I pressed the cool button to kind of seal everything in then I took my mixed chick straightening serum and used that all over my head before I straightened my hair so yeah So to straighten my hair, I'm taking my rat tail comb with like the small teeth and making sure everything's detangled. Then I'm taking the straightening brush by um, um, Denman and I'm using it as uh, my chaser. I used to use the um, I used to use the uh, the comb as like my little chase method situation combo with my blow with my straightener, but I use this a lot better. And I got this from Tootsie Time or Diana. Um, here on YouTube because she used a board bristle brush and that's the same thing it's just like in a form of a straightener so yeah I just do my roots a couple times and then I go ahead and straighten my hair this took me probably about three hours just because I'd be watching Netflix and stuff I'm pretty sure I can get it done faster but I'm also kind of paranoid when it comes to putting heat on my hair so I never do it so 
there's that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to let this keep on going and I'll see you guys in my next one. I just wanted to give an update. It's been a couple of days, almost a week since I had my shirt here. Um, for any questions, it is kind of poofy. Um, I don't mind it like that because I like everything that I do to have like some volume, some like flowiness, like some thickness to it. My hair is normally thick, so I don't mind not getting um, bone straight here. It's not that bad for me, but yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to check in a week after it's not that bad i did a touch up today like just low heat i'm trying to make this last because normally i only wear it for like a week i'm trying to make it go farther but yeah i just been wearing it in low ponytails because i like the way i like the way it looks so and when your hair is not um bone straight it looks bomb in a ponytail because you can see it on both sides 
so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye